Okay, Bay State running here with Simone Dunbar of Sharon, the winner of the uh, 55 meter hurdles, 8.74 yes. and 8.71 in the prelims. So um, both PRs for you today. Yeah. Well, one's a PR and then you broke it. <laughs> uh, talk about the effort today. I, I, you you got to be happy with that. Oh, definitely. My previous times in the season have been um, over nine. This is my first sub nine race. So I was really surprised, honestly, when I figured out that I ran an 8.7. Um, I actually had to run the dash right after my hurdle, so I didn't even get to see the scores. I like ran right into the gym. I had no idea what was going on. Anyways, I'm just like really proud of myself being able to break nine because that was my um, goal for the season. Um, and I finally got that, so that's good. But I definitely still have a lot of form to work on. Um, in my final race, I hit like two of the five hurdles. Um, I luckily was able to recover, but if I could figure out how to stop doing that, probably like work on my, my legs and my technique, then I can get a little bit faster the rest of the season. Now, there's a million things going on right now, so I didn't get to see your 55. You won that though, right? Did you win that? I, went, I won my um, prelim heat, but I got like seventh in finals. Are you happy with that, with that effort? Yeah, my um, time was okay, but I'm also like super tired because I ran hurdle prelim, then hurdle final. No, hurdle prelim, dash prelim, hurdle finals, and then I ran my dash final. So I was kind of like pooped by the end of all that. But I'm still happy with my performance today. So. Are these two events you're going to be focusing on this, this indoor season? Um, I actually focus mostly on hurdles and long jump, which I'm going to be competing in later today. Um, I'm in the third flight, so I have a while for that. I usually don't run the dash just because um, my team has other people that run it usually. Um, but this year we lost a lot of our good sprinters, so they threw me in it for a few of our, oh my God, for a few of our dual meets. And then um, I just wanted to run it today for fun. <laughs> So you still got the long jump to go. Yeah, later. Luckily, so, I can take a break though before I. Um, and my guess is you probably like being busy like this when when you're um, in the four hours. I don't know if I'd say I like it, but I'm used to it. Um, I think every meet that I've ever gone to, it's always like back to back to back. I don't know how they organize it so that it always happens for me, but yeah, um, yeah I'm, I'm kind of used to it. Um, but yeah, I guess the fast pace kind of keeps me going. Um, last meet last week was the first time. I had run the 55 hurdles, 55 dash, and long jump in the same meet, and I noticed that in all three races I actually did a lot better than I normally do. And I think that's because the um, prior races gave me time to warm up for the other ones. So today I was hoping to do the same thing with that, and hopefully this like uh, warm up of hurdles and dash can help me run a little faster on the runway and get a further mark with my jump. So. We'll see how that works. Simone, congratulations on, you. on your hurdle victory and good luck in the long jump. Thank you. Great job today. Thank you so much.